Welcome back to the Princeton Tigers. Today, guys, this is it. The matchup everybody's been wanting to see. The number one Princeton Tigers versus the number two Florida Gators. This is the matchup everybody has been wanting to see, guys. The national championship. And uh, just for uh, recency purposes, we're going to say that Princeton beat Texas, uh, number four seed in the playoff, and... Uh, Florida beat Virginia Tech. So here we are. The College Football Playoff National Championship. Kirk taking Florida. Even though he's going to be... Uh, even though he's calling this game technically. Not really, but whatever. We'll ignore that. Uh, Kirk, obviously, obviously trading to the other side. But anyway, Florida, really good rushing attack. As you can see right there. Ooh, I'm nervous. We had the number one offense of the country, though. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna be we're gonna be calling this game alongside with Kirk Herbstreit and Chris Fowler. So, go ahead, take it away, Chris. It's a foggy night in America's most festive city, and inside this monument to mega events, the Superdome, we are ready for the college football playoff national championship game presented by AT&T. College football national championship, Florida versus Princeton. Taking a look at these teams' playoff experiences, both teams are 1-0 in the, in the total playoff experience. Um, in the places in Fiesta Bowl, Florida defeated Virginia Tech 28-17. And in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, Princeton Tigers defeated the Texas Longhorns 31-21. Looking at a preview of both of these teams' offenses, both very good offenses. However, Florida's pass offense is the question for today's game. Can uh, their pass offense keep it in? Keep up with the Princeton D uh, offense. Which we have received word that Adam Madison will be playing after coming off an impressive performance in the Big Ten Championship. Princeton, however, needs to stop the Florida rushing attack as they've one of the best rushing attacks in college football. So if Princeton can stop the Florida rushing attack, they have a good chance to win this one. I'm excited. I know you guys are too. He cannot wait. The Gators versus the Tigers inside the Superdome. Kickoff coming up next. And welcome back to the AT&T pregame showcase. Kickoff just minutes away now. Here we are just moments away from the championship. Florida Gators looking for their third national championship. Princeton looking for their, I don't even know what it is, we'll say their first one, but uh, they won ones back in 1800, but this is it, that is right, this is it, Bat uh, two battle of the Titans, SEC champion versus the Big Ten champion, who will win? Here we are, Mercedes-Benz Superdome, Florida versus Princeton, college football national championship. We had a really good one today. A lot of Florida people in the crowd, too. I don't know where the Princeton fans are. Okay. Wait, coin toss. Florida selects tail. Princeton's going to kick it off. Give me a Florida ball first. And with this kick, the national championship is underway. And it's a great kick there by Dan Williams. Not going to be returnable. A lot of Florida fans here. I'm not seeing any Princeton. Florida definitely the favorite in this game. First down, they're going to start hanging on with a handoff there to Eddie McLaughlin. Eight yards, a nice start for the Gators. Second and two. They're on the triple option, and Butler's going, and he might be gone here. Chris Hicks and Mark Williams get the tackle. Nice run by Chris Butler, and it's all Gators so far. First down, they're going back to the option. And there we go. There's the a two yard rush there. Nice tackle by Mark Williams once more. Second and eight, four minutes to go in the first quarter. Gators moving the ball very efficiently right now. They seem to be slowing down here though. Here it is. They hand it off to Gunn. He's got a first down, Ryan Gunn. Big first down there for the Gators. First and ten, the Gators back to the ground. And there it is, Casey West with a three yard TFL. Huge stop there by the linebacker. And these are the situations that Florida does not need to get into. They cannot get behind the uh, 
down marker. They cannot get behind the line of scrimmage. Get down to the count. Four yard rush there by Eddie McLaughlin. Give me a third and long. It's a third and nine. This is Princeton's chance. They need to force uh, the Gators into throwing. Third and nine. Tyler Robinson in man coverage. He throws it. It's going to be intercepted by Connor Vickers. Going down the sideline, breaks a tackle. Connor Vickers with the huge INT. A big mistake there. And it's going to be a first down for the Tigers. Chris Butler on his very first pass, throwing an interception. And Adam Madison coming back from injury. Delivered a very great performance in the Big Ten Championship. And he looks to do the same here in the National Championship. He takes a handoff for six yards down the field. The Tigers getting a huge stop there. It's going to be a second and four. Adam Madison looking. He's got a short. Brent Martin, 12 yards and a first down. Moyer for Florida out for a quarter. Not what you want to see for the Gators. It's going to be a first and 10 read option. It's going to be for Adam Madison. He's got some room. A big 15 yard play there and a first down. First and 10, two minutes to go in the first quarter. We're going to go to David Sims. Breaks a tackle, breaks another one. And he's got a first down. Nice run there by the junior on running back. First and 10 going with the play action. Going to take RB, David Sims, out to the edge. And he's got the first down. A nice play there by the Tigers. First and 10, we're looking deep. We got B, there he is, Rodney Neal, 30 yards. First and goal, huge play for the Tigers. That's going to set us up in the red zone. Down to the goal line. The Tigers are setting up five wide. QB draw, we got some blocks, and no. Four linebackers get in there. And Adam Madison down, guys. Chris Landrum subbing in. A minute to go, second and goal. Hand off up the middle. Touchdown, Princeton Tigers. David Sims gets the handoff and fights his way three yards all the way to the end zone. And Princeton is going to be going to board first here in the national championship. Injury update from the tent for Adam Madison. Not sure if he's going to be able to return in the first half here. He may be able to return the second half. Pitched out and Mark Williams can't tackle him and he could be gone. This is not what the Tigers need. The speediness of the Gators running backs, Justin Thomas, picking up a huge 70-yard play there. Huge play there for the Gators. That's going to set them in a first and goal. First and goal here for Florida. They send the blitz, pitches it out to Bryant, and it's going to be a touchdown, Florida. The Gators striking back just like that making it seven to seven in the rushing attack breaking free there tigers setting up with great field goal position thanks to rodney neal the senior wide receiver good return there david sims the first down run picking up seven yards second three and it's gonna be the end of the first quarter both uh, defense is playing well locked up at seven taking us to the second one quarter away in the national championship and both teams are still tied up here. Second and three, Tigers going back to the ground. David Sims, he's going to pick up another eight yards and a first down. You guys, Adam Madison back out in the field for the Tigers here. And we got A, James Barnes, 18 yards. Big reception there for the tight end. Give me a first down. Adam Madison, guys. Right now proving why he's an elite quarterback. They got X, and it's almost picked off. Joel James, almost getting him. Another interception there. Bad mistake there by Madison. Should have thrown that one over the top. It's going to bring up second down and 10 here. We got Y, Brent Martin, in the slant pattern. Breaks a tackle. Huge play, 17 yards. They said the, the first and, uh, 10 in the red zone. First and 10, run back to the ground. David Sims got some blockers. Six yards, nice rush. Let me a second and four. Second and four. 
A little, a little under four minutes to go here. Looking in zone. We got B. Caught by Rodney Neal. But he can't get the first down or the touchdown. It's going to be third and one. Third and one. Three and a half to go. Setting up to the option on the goal line. No block there. But Adam Madison gets the first down. Oh, how he didn't get in the end zone there. Good stop there by the Gators. But it's going to be a first and goal on the one. First and goal. It's going to be a handoff. No, it's a fake. What a fake by the Tigers. And it's going to be a touchdown. What a call there for the Princeton coach. Thought it was going to be a hand off the Sims, but as a keeper for Adam, Adam Madison, everybody bid on it. And the Princeton Tigers are going to take a 14-7 lead. First down here for the Gators. Three minutes to go. Oh, it's another. They got a huge hole there. Mark Williams getting the tackle, but not for McLaughlin. It's another 16. First and 10. They're going back to Butler there. And Casey West. Another nice tackle for him. He stopped that play before he even began. Two and a half to go. Second and nine. Tigers sending more pressure. And Chris Hicks gets the TFL there. Gonna make it bring up a third and eight. Third and eight. Tigers forcing the Gators to pass once more. Looking down the field. He's got a man. A first down. Sean Lee. One of the best receivers in the country there. You don't hear his name too much because the Florida's love to Florida Gators love to run it, but he is one of the best receivers in the country. We have a first down, and Craig Outlaw gets a nice tackle there. Third and seven. Gators showing uh, Gators go, showed the slant route. They threw it to the flat, and the Tigers are going to get another stop here. Be huge open field tackle there. The Gators going to go for a long field goal here. This one's 56 yards. Long field goal. Kicks it and it is no good off the uprights. And the Princeton Tigers get a stop here. Big stop there. Princeton Tigers showing run. They audible. They audible to a deep pass. Looking. He's going to take RB out of mass and he's got him. Brent Martin going down the field. Huge play. 57 yards. It's going to be a first and goal for the Tigers. Tigers showed run. They had the Gators defense full as they go to his hoss on the outside. Sam's has got blockers. And the Tigers have another touchdown. Touchdown, Prince the Tigers. And they were taking a 21 7 lead. The minute left before halftime. Things looking good for the Princeton Tigers here. First and ten. He's gonna throw it, and it's a good route there. We're pushing him out. First down, Gators. First and ten. Gators looking, and they get the sack. Let's go, Tyle Thomas. Big sack there. Second and sixteen minutes to go before halftime. He's got him, and oh, and that's a big play. Chris Hicks pushing him out, but he's got Andy Watson again on the corner. 47 yards for him, like three catches. Second and 10. Tigers going zone. He's throwing it, and it's caught. Chris Hicks with the mis mistake. Big mistake there. And Mark Williams gets the tackle, but we have first and goal for the Gators. Ford again, that passing attack going. Not what you want to see if you're a Tiger fan. They go with the option, and, and he's going to walk in the end zone. Chris Butler. Getting himself a touchdown, bring Florida within seven before halftime. First and ten, Tigers going with the handoff for David Sims. Nice first down rush there. And the Tigers will be going into halftime. They'll be receiving the ball. And they'll take their ha going into halftime with a seven point lead. A touchdown lead going into halftime. Tigers looking great. And that is the halftime score, 21 to 14. Been a nice offensive offensive game so far. Princeton has a slight edge. The Gators really want to come back here. I'm sure they will. And let's look at let's let's look at a quick preview of these two teams. Uh, passing wise, the Gators have struggled, and so has the Tigers. Both pass defense has been doing very good, but the difference in this game is the Princeton rushing attack has been coming through, especially in the red zone. The Princeton offense has been almost virtually unstoppable. 
The Gators defense need to lock up here. What's keeping the Gators in is their rushing attack. And Princeton needs to do something about that. They need to stop that Gator rushing attack because it hasn't gone all the way. If it gets going, Princeton Tigers could be in trouble. Here's a look at your stats. Gators have 140 on the ground already. As you can see, one turnover there. That's what, and that's what has Princeton in the lead, 21 to 14, is that Gator turnover. The Tigers on the edge for passing yards. It's been a back and forth game so far. Let's go ahead. And we'll be right back, and we'll go to the third quarter. Here we are, we are back. Second half of the National Championship coming right this way. It's Kyle Freeman going to run this one out of the end zone. He's looking for a return. He's not going to get one. Nice tackle there by the Gators. First and 10, Princeton setting up shop at the 20-yard line. They're going to start things off with a David Sims rush. That is not going to get anywhere. Four yards there. we got second and six. Tigers looking for a pass. Take A as he threw, and Brett Martin with a nice catch on the sideline there. What a beautifully thrown ball, and puts Brent Martin over 100 receiving yards. Another nice first down for the Tigers. It's going to bring up a first down here. Read option for Adam Madison. He's looking. Picks up about seven there. Nice rush. And the Tigers guys bringing in the Heisman runner, Chris Landrum here. We knew they were going to use a two-quarterback system, and here it is. Landrum just falls, gets tripped over. Nice job by the Florida linebacker there. It's a third down here. Third and four. Let's see what the Tigers can do here. Looking for B. That's Rodney Neal. And it's not a first down. Fourth and inches. Now, normally, guys, I would go for this. Normally, the price of the Tigers would go for this, but... I trust my defense. Get him pinned down the end red zone. Oh, it's a terrible punt! Big mistake there by the Princeton Tigers punter, Dan Williams. Huge mistake there. And that is not what you want to see. He kicked it out of bounds way too early. It's Casey West picking up a nice tackle there. Princeton defense needs this to get a stop here. Second and ten. Craig Outlaw inside! Got unblocked by the line of scrimmage, and that was a huge mistake there. Huge tackle. Let's take a look at this again. Big TFL there. Gets absolutely destroyed. Princeton Tigers defense forcing a third and long here. Not what the Gators want. Third and 12. He's looking down the field. He's going to heave it down there, and it's going to be deflected by Craig Outlaw. He is this team captain. He is this team captain. This defense. He needs a hero for that. Adam Madison back in here, guys. Princeton looking to slow this one down. Both defenses playing good this third quarter so far. Gonna take B. That's Rodney Neal, the senior wideout. Gonna be a first down. Adam Madison, guys. It's like he never even took eight weeks off, playing like he has been all year. Taking B to Ron Clark. Three yards. Nice catch. There. Interception there. Second and seven, Tigers going back to the ground. David Sims on the counter, the juke move. Eight yards on a first down, nice play. 50 seconds to go for the fourth quarter. First and 10. Adam Madison rolling left. He's looking, he's got A. Brent Martin again, breaks a tackle. 22 yards. Brent Martin picking up 135 through the air and five receptions. He's been a huge piece of this game. Huge play of the Tigers set up in the red zone once more. First and ten is going to be the triple option for Adam Madison. Pitches it to David Sims. Round to the outside. He tr trucks people and he gets a first down. First and goal. Putting the Tigers over 100 rushing yards. There's first and goal most likely a run here. It's not a run. Adam Madison, he's looking for something. Can't find anybody. Florida gets a nice sack there. Second and goal. Tigers go with the handoff. No, it's the same trick play from earlier. And the Tigers get another touchdown. Adam Madison picking up his second rushing touchdown with a second left before the fourth quarter. Tigers pulling out all the tricks today. Here we go, into the third quarter. One quarter left. And the winner of, the winner of this last five minutes will be crowned the national champions. And here we go, guys. Fourth quarter action. 
One quarter left. Second and six. We got a huge run there for the Gators, though. 16 yards. It's going to be a first down. Looks like they're getting something going here. First and ten. They're going to run a read option there. And the Tigers get in there and get the TFL. Minus two yards for Chris Butler. The Gators just haven't been able to get much going. Prince Tigers have done what they needed to do, and that has shut down the Florida rushing attack. Picking up another uh, few yards there. I mean, third and long. Third and four, sorry. Third and four. Gators taking their time. They're down by 14 right now in the national championship. It's going to be a rush, and Craig Outlaw gets in there and gets the tackle. Fourth and three, guys. This is the championship. Fourth and three. This could be the championship. Tigers looking. And they get a first down. Huge play there for the Gators. Fourth down conversion. Keeping their season alive. Second and ten. Tigers in the blitz. Craig Outlaw getting in there. No. Tony Seymour can he get the tackle. Pushes him out. That's another 17-yard play there. Andy Watson. He got 64 on the day. Three, just over three minutes to go here in the championship. Throw the slant play, breaks a tackle. Sean Lee picking up 15 yards. That's gonna be a first and goal for the Gators. First and goal, three minutes to go. Can the Tigers get a stop here? First and goal, throws it short, and it's Tigers swarm there. Only picking up three yards. Nice, nice job there. Second and goal, Tigers lining up in a goal line set here. This is risky. Are the Gators ready? Two and a half to go. Second and goal. They can hit with a handoff. Josh McLaughlin falls down, loses his balance. It's going to be a third and goal. Third and goal. Tigers sending the blitz. He's going short, and that's going to be a touchdown, Florida Gators. Huge touchdown there with two minutes to go. They get a 28 to 21 game. The Gators are going to need a stop here. First down, they're going three to option. Adam Madison down the field. Look at him go. 12 yards. That's a first down. Huge first down there. First and 10. We're bringing in Chris Landrum. The option. And Chris Landrum gets shut down. It's going to be a second and 10. Second and 10, guys. We are coming out in Wildcat. Mixing things up. Jerron Clark on the jet sweep. He gets, almost gets the edge, but it's going to be a third and nine. Third and nine, guys. Tiger's going to have to go through the air. Looks like they're running a screen. <sighs> Got to make this play for my team. Shoot, I gotta run for it. Oh, I see him downfield. Here I go. Please make it. Br Brent Martin down the field! 52 yards! And that's gonna be a first and goal, Prince to Tigers. First and goal down to the 10 yard line. And that very well may be the Princeton Tigers national championship moment. As Adam Madison's gonna take a read option down to the two yard line, eight yards. First and goal. Tigers gonna hand this one to David Sims. No, it's a play action. They got X in the end zone. Touchdown, Josh McClellan. And Adam Madison in his first one through the air. What a performance by the junior quarterback. It's going to make it 35-21 with a minute left. What a huge play there, the Tigers. That fake screen wheel. The Gators completely fell for it. Looking for a man. Jeff Parker almost gets the INT. He's going to have first down Gators. First and 10. Looking deep. He's got a man. That's Andy Watson again. He's been huge for the Gators. He's at 84 and looking through the air. Second and 10, 40 seconds to go. The Gators need to score here quick. And we get in there, defensive line gets in there and forces an incompletion. Third and long. 
third and ten. I'm sending Craig Outlaw in there. Craig Outlaw get in there, come on. He falls down. We get him, let's go! Craig Outlaw and Tyler Holly get in there and get the sack. He's gonna bring up fourth and 17, last chance for the Gators. He throws it short and he steps out of the bounds and we get the stop. The Princeton Tigers get the stop. And we are coming out with the quarterback Neil. Let's go. We know that. Let's go, guys. And we get it done. We win the national championship. Let's freaking go. We get it done. The Princeton Tigers win the national championship. Look at him celebrating, man. Started as one of the worst FBS teams of all time. Going all the way to the national championship game and getting it done. That's what we love to see, man. That's what we love to see. What a performance by Adam Madison, man. Only one incompletion of the day for him. We are going to raise up that national championship trophy. Let's go! The Princeton Tigers are national champions. They win the national championship. What a game, man. Man, that brought me to tears. I don't know if you could tell. But that did. The Princeton Tigers get it done, man. 35-21. to 21. What a game. What an amazing season. 14-0, and 0, man. You couldn't ask for anything better. You couldn't ask for anything better. That, we just won the national championship, guys. We are national champions. And we are national champions, man. <laughs> Let's freaking go, man. Let's freaking go. Adam Madison, guys. Out for the whole season, almost. Comes out in the national championship. 13 for 14. 264 yards and a touchdown, man. Chris Landrum did good as well. One for one, three yards. I mean, that 92 completion percentage off 14 attempts is unreal. Rushing wise, Adam Madison, 12 for 48 and two touchdowns, had a big day there as well. And David Sims had a really good day as well with 10 attempts for 72 yards and two touchdowns. Receiving wise, guys, Brent Martin, the sophomore receiver. He's the future of this team. Six receptions for 187 yards. Rodney Neal, the senior wide out his last game, four for 47. Josh McClellan, one for two and a touchdown. Backup tight end, got right in there. Ron Clark went for three. James Barnes went for 18. Nice job, seniors. And David Sims went for 10. Defensively, Mark Williams picking up six tackles in the day. Uh, Casey West with four. Nice performance out of the junior linebacker. Tony Seymour with four. Chris Hicks with three. Craig Outlaw with three. Five TFLs. One by Tyler Hawley. One by Tony Seymour. One by Craig Outlaw. One by Casey West. One by Kyle Thomas. Two sacks of the day, one by Kyle Thomas and one by Tyler Hawley. I shot an offensive line. One interception of the day by Connor Vickers, the senior cornerback. Love to see it. One deflection by Craig Outlaw. Nice job there. Nice job, defense. Here's the total stats. More first downs, more offense. They had more rushing. We had more passing. That turnover, guys. Gave us so much momentum in the first quarter, man. More way more total yards. A little bit more time possession. That's it, guys. There it is. We are 14 and 0, and the national champions. That is it. What a game, man. And there it is, guys. Prince has won the BCS national championship, or in our hearts, the college football playoff national championship. Let's go. Let's get it, guys. Let's add that to the profile. Prince then caps off the season with a successful bowl win. You love to see it, man. Your coach has brought the National Championship Trophy to Princeton. Good work. Thanks, Athletic Director. Appreciate that. Stats on the season. Landrum threw for over 2,000 yards. Madison threw for 1,100 yards. So, nice job. Both quarterbacks, that's over 300 yards right there. Or 3,000 yards, I mean. Rushing-wise, David Sims rushed for 1,000 yards. Adam Madison almost... I mean, not Adam Madison. Chris Landrum almost rushed for 1,000 yards as a quarterback. That's crazy. Adam Madison for 280 yards is rushing. Adam Smith, 145. Nice job. Receiving-wise, Brent Martin leads the charge. 
was 750. James Barnes is 686 and eight touchdowns. Wow, one for Brent Williams. Ronnie Neal, 452 and four touchdowns. Ron Clark, 508 and nine touchdowns. That's a lot. Ray Jones, 452 and five touchdowns. Uh, David Sims, 219. Offensively, Craig Outlaw has 74 tackles. Jeez. Mark Williams, 60. Hicks, 43. Seymour, 37. Vickers, 33. Nice job, guys. And the most TFLs, of course, Craig Outlaw, 37. It's ridiculous. Tyler Holly, 15. Mark Williams, 13. Craig Outlaw, 25 sacks. That's ridiculous. Tyler Holly, 10. Casey West, 4. Craig Outlaw with the most interceptions, with 4. Mark Williams with, with uh, Jeff Parker with four. Mark Williams with two. Uh, C.J. Griffin with two. Seymour, and uh, Seymour with two also. But Outlaw and Mark Williams both finish atop the NCAA. As you can see right there. In tackles. Outlaw just dominates everybody on sacks. It's not even close. That's ridiculous right there. And here's some records. Craig Outlaw has the NCAA record, I believe. An individual career with sacks. 60. Previous holder is an Alabama linebacker, 52. Craig Outlaw, individual season, NCAA sack of 25. Topped to the ASU defensive end, 2002, with 24 uh, sacks. Not sure who that is. Uh, he beats the school, he beats the school sacks in a career, obviously. This is his record from last year. And he beats his uh, sacks as well. So yeah, Craig Outlaw is that good. And there it is, guys, no doubt about it. Princeton, 14-0, takes home the 2019 National Championship. I mean, look at this, guys. What a season. Our closest game of the season was at Michigan State, which is kind of weird. We almost lost that one. Don't know what happened to the offense that game. We only scored 17. That's weird. This is what everybody wants to see, though, right? Here you go. And that is the Princeton Tigers dynasty right there. There it is. 72 and 23, guys. That is an impressive record. I mean, how many is that's five 10 win seasons in a row right there. Impressive five and two ball record. I mean, we never had a losing season. That's just ridiculous. What a dynasty, man. So first year, seven and six, back to the good old days, the Idaho Potato Bowl. <laughs> we actually won our very first uh, bowl game too, which is kind of crazy. 7-7, seven seven, we lost our bowl game. And, we, and then we won the MAC championship. 11-3. And, and then we won the MAC championship again. And we won the GoDaddy Bowl as well. Moved to 13-1. and one. Then we moved to the Big Ten. Won the Capital One Bowl. Finished 10-4. and 9-4 and four on the season. And then uh, we finished 10-2 and two in 2018 with the Capital One Bowl in. Kind of scheduled 11 games. Like a bot. And then 14-0 and with the Big Ten championship and the National Championship. Not much better you can get than that. Um, guys, this is, is, um, is the final episode of the Prince of Tigers Dynasty. Um, honestly, there's not really any point in playing anymore since we already won a championship. If you guys really want to see it, I, I guess I can bring it back. Um, but the next, the next NCAA 14, let me freeze that. The next Dynasty I'm going to play... It's probably going to be in about a year when they release the new NCAA football uh, game. NCAA football 24. I think that's what it's going to be called, most likely. But guys, we're going to be starting a dynasty on that team, on that, on that uh, game. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to. I mean, that's how it's going to be. But, um, you know, the only NCAA 14 con content that's going to be uploaded on my channel now, the only college football, like, video game content that's going to be uploaded on my channel now, it's going to be the RTG. And once that's over, it'll be a little break. And then it'll be into the new game. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with... The, those of you who stick through the entire Princeton Dynasty, you are an absolute legend. Um, I hate to sign off the Dynasty here, but it was a really good Dynasty. Had a good run. But I think I'm pretty sure it's time for it to be over, guys. Took almost two years on my channel. I think started over a year and a half ago. It's been really fun, man. It's been really fun. Seven year long dynasty. But fortunately, it's time to sign off the Prince and Tigers. So thank you guys so much for watching this dynasty and this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um 
And until next time, Hydra out.